The Farman F.60 Goliath was a French airliner and bomber produced by the Farman Aviation Works from 1919. It was instrumental in the creation of early airlines and commercial routes in Europe after World War I. Topic: <laughs> Design and development. The Goliath was initially designed in 1918 as a heavy bomber capable of carrying 1000 kilograms, 2200 pounds of bombs with a range of 1500 kilometers, 930 miles. It was a fixed undercarriage three-bay biplane of fabric-covered wood construction, powered by two Samson Z.9 engines. It had a simple and robust, yet light structure. The wings were rectangular with a constant profile with aerodynamically balanced ailerons fitted to both upper and lower wings. It was undergoing initial testing when World War I came to an end and Farman realized there would be no orders for his design. Nonetheless he was quick to understand that the big, box-like fuselage of the Goliath could be easily modified to convert the aircraft into an airliner. Commercial aviation was beginning to be developed and was in need of purpose-built aircraft. With the new passenger cabin arrangement, the Goliath could carry up to 12 or 14 passengers. It had large windows to give the passengers a view of the surroundings. The Samson engines could be replaced by other types Renault, Lorraine, if a customer desired it. Approximately 60 F.60 Goliaths were built. Between 1927 and 1929, eight Goliaths with various engines were built under license in Czechoslovakia, four by Avia and four by Letov. <laughs> <laughs> Operational history Farman was quick to press the Goliath into service and made several publicity flights. On 8 February 1919, the Goliath flew 12 passengers from Tosis Le Noble to RAF Kenley, near Croydon. Since non-military flying was not permitted at that date, Lucien Bossutrot and his passengers were all ex-military pilots who wore uniforms and carried mission orders for the circumstances. The flight went well, taking two hours and thirty minutes. The pilot and passengers were well received in England. The return flight was made the following day and took two hours and ten minutes. Other flights were made to publicize the Goliath. On 3 April 1919, 14 passengers were flown to an altitude of 6,200 meters 20,341 feet. Later, on the 11th of August 1919, an F.60 flew eight passengers and a ton of supplies from Paris via Casablanca and Mogador to Kufa, 180 kilometers (110 miles) north of Saint Louis, Senegal, flying more than 4,500 kilometers (2,800 miles). Airlines, which were appearing very quickly all over Europe, were quick to acquire the F.60. In 1920, the Compagnie des Grands Express Aériens (CGEA) began scheduling regular flights between La Bourgette and Croydon. The Compagnie des Messageries Aériens (CMA) soon followed suit. The Société Générale de Transports Aérien (SGTA) opened a Paris-Brussels route in July 1920, flown by the Goliath. In May 1921, this route was extended to Amsterdam. The Belgian airline Société Nationale pour l'Etude des Transports Aériens (SNETA) also opened a Brussels-London route in April 1921. Topic: Variants. FF.60. Designation of the first three prototypes: F.60. Civil passenger transport version, powered by two 190 kilowatts, 260 horsepower Samson CM.9 radial piston engines, 60 built F.60 bis. This designation was given to the transport version, powered by two 220 kilowatts, 300 horsepower 
Samson 9 Arizona engines, F.60 BN.2 Three-seat night bomber evolved from the F.60 Goliath. It was equipped with two 190 kilowatts, 260 horsepower Samson 9ZM engines, and 210 were delivered to French naval and army aviation. F.60 Torp Torpedo bomber floatplane, powered by two Gnome Rhone 9A Jupiter radial piston engines, F.60M. Blunt nose version in 1924, powered by two 230 kilowatts, 310 horsepower Renault 12 FY engines, F.61. Two aircraft equipped with two 220 kilowatts, 300 horsepower Renault 12 Fay engines, F.62. A record-breaking aircraft derived from the F.60, powered by a single 370 kilowatts, 500 horsepower. Farman 12 We. First flown on 7 August 1925, the F.62, piloted by Landry and Druhan, broke the world record 4,400 km 2,700 miles, 2,400 nmi closed circuit in 45 hours 11 minutes and 59 seconds, F.62 BN.4 Export version for the Soviet Union, powered by two 340 kilowatts, 450 horsepower Lorraine Dietrich V12 engines, F.62 BN.5. A five-seat night bomber version, powered by two by 300 kilowatts, 400 horsepower Lorraine 12 D flat engines, F.63 BN.4. Similar to the F.62 BN.4 export version, powered by two 340 kilowatts, 450 horsepower, Gnome Rhone 9A Jupiter radial piston engines, 42 built for the Aeronautique Militaire Française, F.63 bis. A single airliner, powered by two by 272 kilowatts, 365 horsepower, Armstrong Siddeley Jaguar IIIA engines. Ten more were built powered by two by 280 kilowatts, 380 horsepower Gnome Rhone 9AA Jupiter engines, F.63 Tur. Three airliners, powered by two by 280 kilowatts, 380 horsepower Gnome Rhone 9AA Jupiter engines, F.65. 60 floatplane torpedo bombers built for the Aeronautique Navale, fitted with interchangeable float or landing gear and powered by 2 by 280 kilowatts, 380 horsepower Gnome Rhone 9AA Jupiter engines, F.66. Two torpedo bombers built for the Aeronautique Navale, powered by 2 by 190 kilowatts, 260 horsepower Samson CM.9 engines, F.66 BN.3. One Gnome Rhone 9A Jupiter powered aircraft was built, intended to be exported to Romania, F.68 BN.4. 32 bomber aircraft powered by 2 by 310 kilowatts 420 horsepower Gnome Rhone 9A flat Jupiter exported to Poland F.140 Super Goliath Super heavy bomber prototype powered by 4 370 kilowatts 500 horsepower Farman 12 we W12 engines in tandem pairs Topic Operators Topic Civilian Operators Belgium Society Anonymy Belge Paul Exploitation de la Navigation Arian Sabina Society Columbophile de Transport Arians SOCTA Syndicat National pour la étude des transports aériens SNETA Columbia Compagnia Colombiana de Navigation Aérea CCNA Czechoslovakia Czechoslovinsky Statny Aeroliny Sensa Francais Union Compagnie Aérienne Française CAF Compagnie des Grands Express Aériens CGEA Compagnie des Messageries Aériens CMA Enterprise de la Photo Arienne
Farm and Airlines, Société Générale des Transports Aériens (SGTA), Romanie Lineal Aérienne Romaine Exploitate de Stat Topic. Military operators Belgium Belgian Air Force Czechoslovakia Czechoslovak Air Force France French Air Force French Navy Commission d'études pratiques d'aeronautique Escadrille 2R1 Escadrille 5B2 Italy Japan Peripuruvian Air Force Peruvian Navy Poland Polish Air Force 211 Squadron 212 Squadron Soviet Union Soviet Air Force Spain Aeronautica Militaire, used in air raids over Morocco Accidents and incidents The 26th of August 1921 Farman F.60 Goliath Oblan of SNETA ditched into the English Channel whilst on a flight from Brussels Evia Airport to Croydon Airport, Surrey, United Kingdom. The aircraft was salvaged and rebuilt as an F61.27 September 1921. Two Farman F.60 Goliaths, O Blue and O Brune, both of SNETA, were destroyed in a hangar fire at Brussels Evia Airport. 8 October 1921 A Farman Goliath of Compagnie des Grands Express Aériens made an emergency landing at Saint Ingelvert, Par de Calais due to problems with a propeller shortly after the aircraft had crossed the French coast. The aircraft was operating an international scheduled passenger flight from Le Bourget Airport, Paris to Croydon. Another aircraft was dispatched from Paris to take the six passengers on to Croydon. 30 November 1921 Farman F.60 Goliath FGEAD of CGEA was damaged in a forced landing at Smith, Kent. The aircraft was repaired and returned to service. 11 February 1922. Farman F.60 Goliath FGEAI of CGEA was damaged in a forced landing at Farnborough, Kent. The aircraft was repaired and returned to service. 7 April 1922. Farman F.60 Goliath FGEAD of CGEA was in a mid-air collision with de Havilland DH-18 AGEAWO of Daimler Airway over Thialois Saint Antoine, Wasse, France. All seven people on board both aircraft were killed. 1 September 1922 A Farman F.60 Goliath on a flight from Croydon Airport to Paris suffered a severely damaged propeller after flying through torrential rain whilst crossing the English Channel. The engine was shut down and a precautionary landing was made at St. Ingelvert where the propeller was changed in 15 minutes. The aircraft then departed for La Bourgette, where arrival was only 12 minutes later than scheduled. 15 March 1923 Farman F.61 Goliath FAEIE former OBLAN of Compagnie des Messageries Aériennes CMA overran the runway on landing at Croydon and collided with a building. The aircraft was later repaired and returned to service. 7 May 1923 Farman F.60 Goliath FAEGP Flander of Air Union was damaged in a forced landing at Lim, Kent. The aircraft was repaired and returned to service. 14 May 1923. Farman F.60 Goliath FAEBY of Air Union crashed at Monsures, Somme, following structural failure of a wing. All six people on board were killed. The aircraft was on a scheduled international passenger flight from Paris to Croydon, the 15th of July 1923. Farman F.60 Goliath FAEE of Farman crashed near Valenciennes, France. 27 August 1923. Farman F.60 Goliath former F. FAECB of Air Union crashed at East Malling, Kent. 
The aircraft was operating an international scheduled passenger flight from Paris to Croydon. A precautionary landing was made at Lim due to weather, following which the flight was resumed. One engine later failed and the aircraft crashed following misunderstanding of an instruction for a number of passengers to move towards the rear of the aircraft, affecting the center of gravity and causing the aircraft to enter a spin. 3 December 1923 Farman F.60 Goliath FAEIF, possibly operated by CMA, crashed at Littlestone, Kent. 22 January 1924. Farman F.60 Goliath FGEAO of Air Union was destroyed by fire following an accident when landing at Croydon. 6 August 1924. Farman F.60 Goliath FADDT Longdock of Air Union was on a scheduled international passenger flight from Paris to Croydon when the port engine failed. A forced landing was made at Golden Green, Kent. One person amongst the pilot and five passengers on board was injured. The aircraft was dismantled to allow removal. It was later repaired and returned to service. 8 February 1925. Farman F.60 Goliath FGEAB Savoir of Air Union crashed whilst attempting to land at Lim. The aircraft was on a cargo flight from Paris to Croydon when an engine failed over the channel. The aircraft was later repaired and returned to service. 16 October 1925 Farman F.60 Goliath FHMFU Isle de France of Air Union crashed at Wadhurst, East Sussex. Three passengers were killed and two were injured. The aircraft may have been repaired and returned to service as its registration was not cancelled until 1 June 1932. Its fuselage is preserved. 14 November 1925 Farman F.60 Goliath FFHMY Picardy of Air Union ditched in the English Channel 12 km miles off Boulogne, France. The aircraft was salvaged and rebuilt as an F.63 BIS, returning to service in 1929.10 March 1927. Farman F.63 BIS Goliath FAEGP Flander of Air Union made a forced landing near Tunbridge, Kent following an engine failure. 5 May 1927. Farman F.61 Goliath FADFN of Société Générale des Transports Aériens was lost in the Atlantic Ocean on a flight from St. Louis, Senegal to Pernambuco, Brazil. Both crew were killed. 24 November 1927 Farman F.60 Goliath FGEAB Savoir of Air Union was severely damaged in a forced landing at Yaldham Manor, Rutum, Kent. The aircraft was later repaired and returned to service. 6 March 1928. Farman F.60 Goliath FAECU Normandy of Air Union crashed at Hythe, Kent. The aircraft may have been repaired and returned to service as its registration was not cancelled until 1 June 1932.11 March 1928. Farman F.60 Goliath former F.61 FAEFC Provence of Air Union crashed into the English Channel 9 miles 14 km off Folkestone whilst operating an international scheduled passenger flight from Paris to Croydon. The aircraft had landed at St. Ingelvaire to await an improvement in the weather before continuing its journey, and the passenger or passengers had decided to continue the journey by boat. The aircraft broadcast a mayday before it crashed into the sea, killing both crew. The bodies of the victims were picked up the Southern Railways ferry made of Orleans. 23 May 1928. Farman F.63 Bis Goliath FAEIE of Societe Generale des Transports Aériens SGTA crashed on takeoff from Cologne, Germany and was destroyed by fire. Three people were killed. 19 May 1929. 
Farman F.60 Goliath FGEAI Vendée of Air Union, on a flight from Croydon to Paris crashed at Keelan's sidings near Paddock Wood Railway Station, it stopped yards from the signal box and was destroyed by fire, the pilot and mechanic escaped with minor injuries. 31 July 1929 Farman F.60 Goliath FGEAB Savoir of Air Union, on a flight from London to Paris carrying gold bullion was damaged in a forced landing near Smarden in Kent. Bushes on the riverbank stopped the aircraft entering the river belt although some of the gold bullion it was carrying ended up in the river. The bullion was recovered by spectators and transferred by lorry to Lim for onward transport to Paris. The aircraft may have been repaired and returned to service as its registration was not cancelled until 1 June 1932, October 1929. Farman F.63 Biscoliath FFARI of Société Générale de Transports Aériens was destroyed in an accident. 10 February 1930 Farman F.63 Biscoliath FFHMY Picardy of Air Union crashed at Marden Airfield, Kent following failure of the starboard tailplane. Two passengers killed of the six people on board. 2 May 1930. Farman F.63 Biscoliath FADCA Lorraine of Air Union crashed at Penshurst, Kent after encountering a heavy squall whilst on a flight from Le Bourget, Paris to Croydon. 23 April 1931. Farman F.63 Goliath FADDT Longdock of Air Union crashed at Whitehurst Farm, Marden after taking off from Marden. The aircraft was carrying mail. 9 July 1930. Farman F. 60 FADFQ of the SGTA crashed near Arlesmere shortly after takeoff from Amsterdam. One crew member, a mechanic, died shortly after. The pilot and the Marconist escaped with slight injuries. The plane was a total loss. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Survivors. No complete airframe survives. The forward fuselage of FHMFU is exhibited at the Musée de l'Air et de l'Espace, Le Bourget, France. Specifications F.63 BN.4 Data from Jane's All the World's Aircraft 1928 General Characteristics Crew, 4 Length, 14.77 meters 48 feet 5 in Wingspan, 26.5 meters 86 feet 11 in Height, 4.9 meters 16 feet 1 in Wing area, 160 square meters 1,700 square feet Empty weight, 2,900 kilograms, 6,393 pounds. Gross weight, 5,400 kilograms, 11,905 pounds. Power plant, two times no met Rhone 9A Jupiter nine-cylinder air-cooled radial piston engines, 340 kilowatts, 450 horsepower each. Propellers, two bladed fixed pitch propellers performance. Maximum speed 170 km per hour 106 miles per hour 92 knots at sea level 168 km per hour 104 miles per hour 91 knots at 1000 meters 3300 feet 165 km per hour 103 miles per hour 89 knots at 2000 meters 6600 feet 160.5 km per hour 99.7 miles per hour 86.7 knots at 3000 meters 9800 feet range 800 km 497 miles 432 nmi service ceiling 5500 meters 18000 feet 
Time to altitude, 1,000 meters 3,300 feet in 4 minutes 59 seconds 2,000 meters 6,600 feet in 11 minutes 31 seconds 3,000 meters 9,800 feet in 19 minutes 48 seconds 4000 meters 13000 feet in 31 minutes 2 seconds swing loading 34 kilograms per square meter 7.0 pounds per square foot power mass 0 0.1157 kilowatts per kilogram 0 0704 horsepower per pound armament guns 2x lewis machine guns at nose and rear gunners positions Bombs, provision for light bombs internally and larger weapons including torpedoes under the center fuselage. See also Farman F. 140 Super Goliath Related lists List of civil aircraft List of interwar military aircraft <laughs>